decided to choose the historical Pulau Pinang as our trip destination. Pulau Pinang, sometimes known as the Pearl of the Orient, is the second smallest state in Malaysia. It is located on the northwest coast of Peninsula Malaysia. It was declared as a UNESCO World Cultural Heritage Site on 7th July 2008. Hill is one of the places you should at least visit once in your lifetime. Pulau Pinang, which is widely known as Asia's Food Paradise, offers a fantastic and unique combination of scrumptious cuisine such as Chia Kui Tiao, Laksa Pinang and Nasi Kanda. So, let's get started with our trip. Our starting points begins at Kuala Lumpur International Airport since we were going there by Malaysia Airlines. After we check in for our flight and luggage, we head to the departure hall. After the boarding gate for our flight has opened, with bag in hand and excited heart, we board the plane. And the flight started to depart from KLIA to Penang Island a few moments later. Yay! Alhamdulillah! After a short one-hour journey, we safely landed at Penang International Airport in Bayan Lepas. Next, we find Encik Malik, who is the owner of the car rental that we were going to rent. We rent two similar cars which are Pro Dua Beza to fit seven of us. Then, we check into WhatsApp Youth Hostel. We rent three rooms for our three days and two night trip and it only cost us RM443. This place offers great hospitality that is equipped with an outdoor pool, a bar, free Wi-Fi and vending machine. What is more interesting is it is located in the heart of Georgetown where tourists can visit nearby attractions such as Plus Museum Pinning, Pinning Heritage Gallery and Wonderful Museum. We decided to have lunch at one of the famous nasi kandar in Pulau Pinang. So Din Maiju is gonna be our target since he got high ratings. Let's check it out. Once we had reached, the queue was already formed. We joined the queue and waited patiently for our turn. Their service was very fast since we did not have to wait for a long time. We ordered fried chicken, curry chicken, potatoes and fish with white rice and then put various types of curry, gravies and sauces on it. All of us ordered the same thing and we enjoyed the lunch. After that, we went to the most unique street art in Georgetown, which is located only a few minutes from our hostel. Street art lovers will definitely don't want to miss the chance to visit this place. Like it or not, Penang Street Art is among the island's prime tourist attractions. Padang Kota Lama is a relaxing place that is suitable for you to visit with your family when traveling in Penang. This destination is a popular open field in Penang where tourists can come for a walk or to dine in at the interesting restaurants in the vicinity. The location of Padang Kota Lama or its sophisticated name Esplanade Penang is also very interesting because it is located by the sea. Next to it is a popular historical place in Penang, namely Fort Cornwallis, which is one of the attractions to tourists both from within and outside the country. It was night and we were very hungry. We decided to buy food at the night market instead of restaurants or others. Night market is a good choice if you want to buy delicious food at affordable prices. There is a whole experience to be had in these bustling bazaars. 
we ordered various types of cultural foods. One of them is Thai style fried chicken, char kway ka, fresh sugar cane juice, salted fish pao, and pineapple tart, tau fu fa, keropok leko, lok lok, and grilled chicken bun. All of these dishes are quite cheap, and we do not regret spending our money here. With this beautiful weather in the morning, it would be nice to have breakfast like Roti Chane. In Penang, there is a Roti Chane shop that is delicious, soft, and their special menu is the Roti Chane that is equipped with a bright fried egg, a thin slice of cheese, and a handful of chopped raw pepper onion. There are three types of curry sauce like chicken curry, meat curry, and dal curry. The name of the eatery is Kemas Road Roti Chanai and is located on Kemas Road. So visitors like us should not miss this opportunity to enjoy a special delicious and tasty Roti Chanai for breakfast that is only available at Kemas Road Roti Chanai. Next interesting place in Penang is Penang Escape Team Park. This is one of the tourist destinations that offer many exciting rides and games hosted with a natural environment. There's no age limit to having fun as the rides and games are designed for a wide range of age groups, abilities and energy levels. Operation hours for Penang Escape Team Park is 9 hours starting from 9am to 6pm. And the ticket price is also worth RM. 167 ringgit per each available for all games At 4 pm, our trip begins. The first location that we had planned is to go to the habitat of Pinay Hill. This place was quite attractive to the tourists who came to Pinay. The habitat is the place where we can walk using the historic and color rail. We were very excited spending time there because it is located at the edge of the magnificent rainforest. For a little bit about the habitat, the nature trail is about 1.6 km and it is the steepest track in the world and the longest one in Asia. Bukit Bendera have other alternatives to go there such as the tourists can either go by train, climbing through the trails or by jeep, but through rugged roads. So basically, using the train is the best and fastest way to arrive at the top. The fact that the price is also cheap for adults with my card which is 12 ringgit for a two ways ride. The first location we are going to see as soon as we arrive at the top is the 180 degree viewing deck where we can see the beautiful view of Pulau If it is not foggy, we can see the old Jambatan Pulau Pinang, Menara Komtar, Pulau Jeraja, Fort Cornwallis, Terminal Ferry, and more. There is an observation area where we have to pay one ringgit to see the view for two minutes through the binoculars. There are also places where some couples or friends put locks just like how we usually see in Japan or Korean dramas. Other than that, there are also a little village here, old museum, cliff cafe, Maryam, Taman Pemainan, Masjid and Quail. This place is so amazing. 
Look at all of this picture I took guys Let me tell you something about this place I have read that this place is similar to Chong Fatzi with Chinese artifact, antique and a variety of past treasure with millions of ringgits Let me add to it The Paranaka mansion is divided into two floors The ground floor has a family dining table in addition to family owned antiques On the second floor, the items are more personal from the wedding dress and mistress decorations to the family portraits adorning the walls how much is the ticket for the Pranaka Mansion and when does it operate? It's 20 ringgit for adults and it opens on Monday to Sunday from 9.30am to 5pm. I'm craving for some jeruk. Let's go to the Chao Rasta Bazaar to buy some. Well, that's a good idea. I can also buy some jeruk for my family and bring home. Oh my gosh, our trip to Penang has over. However, after our three days and two nights here, we were able to see and enjoy various beauties in Penang. Isn't that right, Wawa? Yes, Alice. Since we are here, we didn't waste our time sleeping in the room. We spent time doing a variety of interesting and challenging activities here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We are not only waste time, we also waste our money here. Haha. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, Aina. I meet Ashraf and Alia. Are you guys enjoying this trip? Yes, of course I do. Yes, I do. And I will repeat it again with my family next year. Yes, me too. I think we can plan another trip to another place next time. Okay guys, don't miss the visit Pulau Pinang. It's very cool. Bye-bye, Penang.